Hey there, I'm Jason Lacine. Uh, my wife and I are building a home in Wisconsin with a Tesla solar glass roof. And I wanted to talk today about snow retention and snow mitigation. Uh, once the snow falls on the roof, we want to see how quickly it gets off the roof. Obviously, the faster it gets off the roof, the better it is for us because the more uh, solar energy that we can gather. So the idea behind this is uh, we want the snow to land on the roof. Uh, the snow ideally would, would melt right away and run off into the gutters as, as water. Uh, we're supposed to get a few inches of snow today and, and over the next couple of days. So we're gonna check this out and see how it does. Here's what our roof looks like right now. There's no snow on there. It's, it's early in the morning yet. Uh, it's kind of chilly out here. It's under 30 degrees. So there's a little bit of frost on the roof, but there's no snow on there. And you'll be able to see with some drone shots overhead that uh, there's no snow anywhere on the roof. And there's, there's very little on the neighboring roofs. There's still a little bit, but not much at all. And uh, in the next 24 to 48 hours, we're gonna see a little bit more. All right, so I'm here at the house now. It's about uh, 9.30 at night. And I just wanted to show you guys where we're at so far. You can see that that slope has, has shed it completely. These slopes have not yet. And over here on the side of the garage, we have one slope that has, has shed it. And then the other slope has not yet. The neighbor's houses, pretty covered in snow. There's not a terribly big pile of snow where it would have fallen off. So that's a good sign. We'll see how it looks tomorrow morning. All right, so we're back. It's about 11 a.m. Uh, the next morning, and uh, the snow has been done now for a couple of hours. Uh, we, we got a few inches, and as you can see behind me, uh, the snow has slid off of almost all of the slopes. Uh, we'll fly a drone overhead in just a minute. You can see there's a little bit of snow in, in the one valley there, uh, but that's, that's about it. I'll walk over to uh, the other side here. And you'll be able to see that the snow has also slid off of the garage slopes. And over here, it's, it's completely off. Uh, the one downside is that there's a couple of snow piles. Let me flip this around. You can see there are, there's not too much here at all. Over here, there's, there's a small pile. And then on these front slopes, on this one that came down, there's a little bit of a pile there and a little bit of a pile here. And then in the back of the house here, you can see that there was a little bit of snow that slid off, not much at all. And then on this one here, we'll get the, the drone up there to see what it looks like up top, but there was a little bit more over there. Overall, aside from the one valley in front, the entire roof has cleared the snow within 24 hours, which I'm pretty impressed by. Uh, when you compare it to the rest of the neighbors, you can see there's all snow covered roofs in the entire neighborhood. And then the one Tesla roof here that is completely clear and would be generating solar energy right now. Uh, it may look a little different once the gutters are installed, but the gutters are not going to keep the snow from uh, piling up on the ground. So at this point, kind of worried that my, my little dog or the landscaping might be affected by the snow piles, uh, but we'll see how this goes long term. That's all I have for now. We'll talk to you guys soon.